All right, I think we are live. Oh yeah, I need to share this. On the church Facebook page, <clears throat> and I need you guys to share it on your page, if you are there. I need to see if this actually came up. Trivia, let's see here. I'm gonna see if this actually came up on the uh, GraceWorks Church Facebook page. Um, of course, my mom's texting me. If you're there, mom, hello. If you're not, I'm seeing if it's here. Anybody there? Oh, a couple of people are joining. Chip and Carol are watching. I'm trying to get it to come up on my phone so I can share this. You guys hit that share button. Let's see here. Still trying to get it to come up. Tasha! Tasha is there. <laughs> I always laugh when I say Tasha. I don't know. I have I have another. I say ta 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 sha. I say that sometimes. Is that funny? Oh, Chip's watching from the parking lot. I wonder if it's going to make your connection any faster. <laughs> I doubt it. But you can walk in and be a live viewing audience in the church sanctuary if you want. <laughs> These guys are watching uh, the Star of Bethlehem tonight. Um, I cannot find this on my pay on our church Facebook page. Come on, thing, come up. I need to share it, and I know it's out there. Well, is everybody? If everybody's still watching, hey Carol, I'm I'm not getting it to. Oh. <laughs> That's because it's on my Facebook page. <laughs> I get confused sometimes, like when I'm watching it on my page and I'm watching it on the, the, there it is. See, it's on my page. All right, so, uh, okay, now I'm going to share it to the church Facebook page. I get confused because sometimes I have to, um, standing room only in the sanctuary. That is right. Now, I've got tons of people here. I wish I had some noises in the background that I could, like, have, um, people cheering and all that type of stuff. Grace works. I'm sharing it to the church Facebook page. Sometimes I have to shoot Facebook live videos on the church Facebook page, and sometimes I have to do them on my Facebook page, and so I get confused sometimes when I'm going to share which one I'm sharing to. Anywho, I got it shared to the church Facebook page, and I need you guys to share it on your page. I want you to know that Bill Owens came up with this trivia and um, he came up with the trivia, and the trivia, to me, like, if I would have asked it the way that Bill asked the questions, we'd have been here all night trying to find the answer. So I had to kind of, you know, bring it down a notch so it'd be a little easier to answer. It's Symbols of Christmas is the, um, is the name of the trivia. Um, and like I say, I kind of had to dumb it down a little bit so it would be, we wouldn't be here all night, um, uh, do some multiple choice and that type of stuff to make it a little easier. So... Symbols of Christmas, you may want to have your Google or something ready uh, because there's some hard ones in here, in my opinion. Of course, I made it a little simpler. So, once again, hey, I want to say tonight there's a big group of people out in the church parking lot viewing the Star of Bethlehem. Uh, I, I was out there when the daylight was out still a little bit, and you could see it. Uh, you could actually see it, and I'll have um, a question about that, so I don't want to ruin uh, that question um, in this trivia. So, uh, trivia, symbols of Christmas, hit the share button. Question number one. Question number one. Here we go. Many churches and individuals decorate their Christmas tree with symbols representing the life of Christ. That is a fact. Okay? What is the collective name of these Christian symbols? What is the collective name of these Christian symbols? And I'm going to give you a multiple choice on this. Would you say that the Christian symbols are called ornaments or chrismons? It's one or the other. Many churches and individuals decorate their Christmas tree with symbols representing the life of Christ. What is the collective name of these Christian symbols? Is it ornaments or is it chrismons? Does anybody know the answer to that? Just take a guess. Just take a guess. Chris, uh, Symbols of Christmas is the name of the trivia. By the way, while you guys are guessing, hit the share button. Uh, Chip Liner says, Chrismons. Are you standing with Bill Owens? Is he giving? Uh, Tasha, ta 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 sha, says Chrismons. And by the way, I'm going to be having a brownie, but I'm going to wait till the end of my trivia. I'm pretty excited about this. I love Little Debbie brownies. I like them with the little nuts, but I like them with the sprinkles, too. Okay, 
You guys are correct, Chip and Tasha. It is Chrismon's. Um, uh, Chrismon's, uh, uh, let's see, it's designed to help Christians remember that Christmas is a celebration of Jesus' birth. So Chrismon's is the answer. Other ornaments are just ornaments. Uh, so uh, they may have another name, but Chrismon's are when you're uh, doing ones that uh, uh, represent the life of Christ. Okay, question number two. Question number two, symbols of Christmas trivia. Um, question number two, the Christmas tree originated in what European country? The Christmas tree originated in what European country? Just take a guess. What European country? The Christmas tree originated in what European country? Does anybody know the answer to that? The Christmas tree originated in what European country? Just take a guess. Come on. Carol says Germany. <coughs> Does anybody agree? Chip says Germany. T -t -t -sha says Germany. Anybody else? Well, you guys are correct. It is Germany. Germany is where the Christmas tree originated. That's the European country. My mom says Germany, question mark. You are correct. And guys, hit the share button on this. Um, Jim and Carolyn, you are correct. Germany, question number three. Uh, symbols of Christmas, symbols of Christmas. Question number three. Who was the first person, who was the first person, I guess that we know of anyway, uh, to use lights on a tree, and we're talking about kind of Christmas tree, and this is historically what the answer is. So who was the first person to use lights on a Christmas tree? Now I'm gonna give you, you may know it, go ahead and answer it if you know the answer, but I'm gonna give you a multiple choice. Was it Benjamin Franklin, or was it Martin Luther? It's one of those two guys. Anyway, that's, if you look it up, it's one of those two guys. There may have been somebody like, a, there may have been a Cosmo Kramer of like, you know, 1000 BC or something who, actually did it first, but uh, Carol says Martin Luther. <coughs> Tasha says Martin Luther King. <laughs> Chip Liner says Ben Franklin. Well, Carol, you are right. It was Martin Luther. Tasha, if you would have not put the K at the end, you would have been right. It was not Martin Luther King. It was Martin Luther. Martin Luther King was, what one was he? Martin Luther King was in, what, the 1950s and 60s, maybe? And Martin Luther was in the 1550s, 60s. <laughs> I don't know when he was, 1600s, something like that. Um, uh, but it was Martin Luther. The Martin Luther, not the Martin Luther King, but the Martin Luther. So <clears throat> that was question number three. Uh, who was the first person to use lights? on a tree. Um, it was Martin Luther. By the way, guys, hit the share button on this so other people can see it. Hey, let me say again, just in case you're joining, uh, we have a crew out in the church parking lot. They're looking at the Bethlehem star tonight. And uh, so uh, it's kind of cool. So, and I've got a question about that in the trivia. So question number uh, four in, <laughs> Tasha said, oops, I know it just rolls off. Um, question number four, in 1670, a German choir master used what kind of candy to entice children to be quiet during rehearsal and performance of Christmas music? In 1670, a German choir master used what kind of candy to entice children to be quiet during rehearsal and performance of Christmas music? Now, I'll give you a hint. It's Christmas candy, and a lot of times it's in the shape of a J. Bill Owens is watching. He knows all the answers to this. Bill, I had to dumb down the trivia a little bit because it was so, the way you ask it, Carol Smedley says candy cane. I have a feeling you're standing right. Chip says peppermint. I will accept that answer as well. Um, I have a feeling Carol's standing out there beside Bill watching the, uh, and Tasha, you are correct, candy cane. Um, I have a feeling you're standing out there beside Bill getting all the answers. My mom says peppermint. Peppermint and candy cane are both acceptable. It was actually the candy cane and peppermint uh, that the choir master enticed the children um, to, uh, uh, to get the children to focus. He'd be arrested now because he'd be accused of giving children diabetes, but in 1670, it was cool. All right, question number five. Question number five. Uh, the Christmas star, oh, by the way, we're doing symbols of Christmas, and we have a bunch of people in the parking lot uh, looking at the Bethlehem star tonight. First, 
Oh, I can't, I can't, I almost gave away one of my things here. Okay, the Christmas star, as a matter of fact, this is the question. Okay, <laughs> we have a lot of people viewing the Bethlehem star now. The Christmas star, or the star of Bethlehem, obviously has its origins in, bib, in bib, the biblical Christmas story. The wise man saw it and followed it to Jerusalem in search of the Christ child. Tonight, tonight, through Wednesday night, the star of Bethlehem will be visible in the northern hemisphere for the first time in 800 years. First time in 800 years. Uh, so, anyway, that is all fact, as far as I know. Bill wrote the trivia. Here's the question. The star is actually not a star at all. It's actually an alignment of what two planets? It's an alignment of two planets. Look, Carol, Carol man, Carol, boom. Carol and Tisha both got it. It is the alignment of two planets. And um, uh, let's see here. And it's technically not a star at all. It's just the alignment of two planets. And you guys are right with Jupiter and Saturn. I was going to give a hint and say it's two, the, it's two planets that are like side by side. And when, you, when I learned them in elementary, you know, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. You know what I mean? So uh, Chip says Jupiter and Saturn. <coughs> so uh, you guys are correct. I'll give you one more little fact that Bill wrote here. Jupiter and Saturn is the answer. The last time this occurrence was vis visible from the Earth was in 1226. Uh, you can spot the star tonight about 45 minutes or an hour after sunset. So these guys are watching it right now, and it's right in the kind of the peak time uh, that you can see it. So, uh, or maybe it's just beyond that. So, but uh, I actually could see it a little bit when I was out there, even though it was daylight. Question number six, symbols of Christmas. Symbols of Christmas, question number six. Hit the share button, guys, on this. <clears throat> Many Christians... Uh, are offended. Many Christians are offended by the use of Xmas. You know the X and M A S. Xmas in place of Christmas. Okay. What these people don't understand is what the X represents. What does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, let's see here. X is the first letter in the name for Christ. In what? Language. Sorry, that's actually the question. <laughs> so I'm telling you that it, the, uh, X is the first letter in the name of uh, name for Christ in what language? Yes, Carol, you are correct, Christ. Now, what language uh, is that the first letter? Does anybody know? What language? So many Christians are offended by Xmas. Chip says Greek. <clears throat> Xmas is the first letter in the name for Christ in what language? Chip says Greek. Carol, you answered the other question about the X stands for Christ. Mom says Greek. Catherine Prettyman would be my mom, by the way. And she put question marks. She wasn't sure. Well, Mom, you are correct. It is, gr it is the Greek. <clears throat> and by the way, Xmas, like my name is Michael David Prettyman. Sometimes I might put my name down as, yes, Tasha, you are right. Michael, I might put M D Pretty Man. Well, X, so that, that it's used kind of like that. Xmas, like instead of putting Christ, you know, C Cmas <laughs> or whatever. But Xmas uh, represents uh, is the first letter in the name for Christ in the Greek language. So, Bill put it at said it. Um, it is used the same way we use initials in the modern uh, English names. So. <clears throat> so anyway, question number seven, uh, symbols of Christmas. Um, question number seven in symbols of Christmas. Um, this one goes over to two pages, so I'm going to read this here. Two other major, <clears throat> two other major religions share Christianity's use of the candle at Christmas for their religious holidays. Name one of these religions, and I'll give you a hint. Okay, two other major religions share Christianity's use of, can of the candle at Christmas for their religious holidays. Name <clears throat> one of these religions. I'll give you a hint. Seinfeld and Adam Sandler have made millions pointing out some of the humor in the traditions of one of these religions. <laughs> Adam Sandler and Jerry Seinfeld have made a ton of money on one of these religions uh, just pointing out the funny stuff. 
Does anybody know one of those? Just name one of them. Two of the other major religions besides Christianity that use a candle uh, at Christmas for their religious holidays. Anyone? Chip Liner says Judea, uh, Judaism. Tasha says Jewish. Anybody else? Anybody else? <clears throat> Anyone else? You know, Adam Sandler, put on your yarmulkes. Time to celebrate. I hope you bring, or whatever he says. I can't remember how it goes. Put on your yarmulkes. It's time to celebrate. Hanukkah. You guys are right. J the Jewish uh, holiday of Hanukkah, but also Kwanzaa for people of African descent. They both use uh, candles. Or, um, uh, yeah, use the candle to celebrate the holiday in this Christmas season. So Hanukkah for Jews, Kwanzaa for people of African descent. You are correct. Question number eight. Uh, symbols of Christmas. Hit the share button, guys. Question number eight. Uh, the two primary colors of Christmas are red and green, okay? The two primary colors of Christmas are red and green. One symbolizes the blood of Christ, and the other represents eternal life. Which color represents eternal life? Which of those two colors represents eternal life? Would it be red or would it be green? I'm going to take a, a sip of sweet tea while you guys are hitting the share button and answering this question. It's not super manly to drink out of a straw, is it? Especially with a name like Pretty Man. Hey, Chip says green. Ta 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 sha says green. My mom says green. And you guys are correct. Green represents eternal life, and red represents, <coughs> excuse me, the blood of Christ. <clears throat> I need a bite of this brownie bad. Okay, question number nine. Uh, symbols of Christmas, hit the share button. Question number nine. Uh, two traditional Christmas symbols are actually found in the Bible's account of the birth of Christ. <coughs> okay, so two traditional Christmas symbols are actually found in the Bible's account of the birth of Christ. Okay, which one of these is not a symbol? Okay, almost knocked a tree over. Okay, which one of these is not a symbol? Okay, I'm going to give you three choices here. You tell me which one is not a symbol. Star, animals, angel. Which one of those is not a symbol? Two, uh, two traditional Christmas symbols are actually found in the Bible's account of the birth of Christ. Which one of these is not a symbol? Not a symbol, traditional symbol that was found in the birth, uh, the biblical account of the birth of Christ. Star, Animals, angel. Chip says animal. Anybody else? Two traditional Christmas symbols are actually found in the Bible's account. Carol says uh, uh, <coughs> animals. T -t Tasha says animals. Um, Bible's account of the birth of Christ. Which one of these is not a symbol that was found in the biblical account? The biblical account. <coughs> Mom says animals. Well, all of you guys are correct. Is we see manger scenes and all this stuff around and all these types of things. And from my understanding, this is where you need to fact check me. There is nowhere, I don't think, in, and I could be wrong, <coughs> in the Bible's account of the birth of Christ. Definitely fact check me because I did not follow up on this and I made this question up. Um, where you find animals. <laughs> you find star and you find angel. And I know the shepherds were probably watching sheep and all that type of stuff, but at the you know, birth of Christ. So, uh, or the biblical account, Bible's account of the birth of Christ. So, uh, double check me on that, but star and angel is the correct answer. Animals is not. Okay, <clears throat> question number 10. Question number 10, then I'll have a couple of bonus questions here for you. Uh, symbols of Christmas is the trivia topic. You still have a chance to hit the share button to get it out there to everybody so they know all the answers to everything about Christmas. All right, question number 10. A worldwide symbol of Christmas, uh, is actually an animal. It is actually a bird. Don't know if you knew that or not. What bird is a Christmas symbol? What bird is a Christmas symbol? If I don't get answers quick, I'll give you a multiple choice. 
but what bird is a Christmas symbol? I will give you one hint. It is not a partridge in a pear tree. It is not a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, my mom says dove, Chip says dove. Ta -ta -ta -sha. Says a dove. Carol says a dove. You guys are all right. Good job. It is not a partridge in a pear tree. It is a dove. The dove was originally used in the Old Testament, uh, in Old Testament sacrifices, but was later viewed as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Tasha, as the Holy Spirit foretelling the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. So there you go. Okay, bonus question. I would have never gotten this one, but some of you Christmas nerds may have know this, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about Christmas nerds like, you know, watch, you know, all the, every Hallmark movie about Christmas and all that. I'm saying that in the nicest way when I call you a nerd. I'm kind of a running nerd, so, you know, uh, a little bit. All right, bonus question. Elves have two responsibilities. The first is to help make toys in Santa's workshop, okay? What is their second responsibility? Elves actually have two responsibilities. Their first is to help make toys in Santa's workshop, but what is their second responsibility? Do you know the answer to that question? What is the second responsibility of the elves? Anyone? 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 Sorry, my elf voice isn't working too well. Carol Smedley says spread Christmas cheer. That may be Buddy the Elf's job, but that's not the other elf's job. <coughs> T -t Tasha says feed the reindeer. <coughs> James Smedley says feed the reindeer. Well, you guys are correct. It is to feed the reindeer. You are officially Christmas nerds. I'm kidding. <laughs> Chip says take care of the reindeer. Yeah. <clears throat> I did not know that. So uh, there you go. Hey, I got a bonus question. It kind of goes back to the whole thing about <coughs> the candy cane. Does anybody know what the original color of the candy cane was? Anyone? Does anybody know what the original color of the candy cane was? What was the original color of the candy cane? Like the peppermint thing, you know what I mean? Which, by the way, I don't think I finished reading all that in that. Um, <clears throat> and the candy cane is formed in the shape of a J, by the way, <clears throat> which also reflects a shepherd's hook. Just so you know. Chip says white. You are correct, Chip. White is the answer <clears throat> to that. Um, T -t Tasha says white. <clears throat> you are correct, Tasha. Um, you know what? I think that's all my bonus questions. I thought I had another one, but I don't. So that was kind of anticlimactic. I would have made it real big about the, you know, the whole thing with the candy cane. But <clears throat> so anyway, there you have it. Now, let me go back to one of the questions I said. Um, and so you guys can know this tonight through Wednesday night, tonight through Wednesday night, the star of Bethlehem will be visible in the Northern hemisphere for the first time in 800 years. The star is actual alignment of the planets Jupiter and Saturn. So it's actually not a star. So you want to see it for the first time since like 1226, you got two more nights to do it if we don't have clouds in the sky. So anyway, thank you guys for joining tonight. And, um, I'm trying to think what's going on. We have a Christmas Eve service here uh, coming um, this uh, coming. <laughs> I'm trying to think Thursday. I was going to say on Christmas Eve. <laughs> we have a Christmas Eve service coming up. So you guys be sure to join us for that here at Grace Works Church, 5 p.m. Um, it looks like we're going to wind up being inside. We are going to put out an official announcement about that probably tomorrow. We planned on being outside at 5 p.m., but it looks like the weather is not going to cooperate. And uh, so it looks like we're going to wind up being inside for our Christmas Eve service. Very, very important service. So, uh, so anyway, um, but anyway, plan on being a part of that. Uh, 5 p.m. here at Grace Works Church. Looks like it's going to be inside, maybe outside, but I think we're going to wind up moving inside on that. But we will have an official announcement out there and blast that out to you. So thank you all for joining tonight. Uh, please hit the share button on this again. And uh, I'm going to have a word of prayer and close this out here. And uh, I will say goodbye after I do that. 
Let's pray. God, I thank you that we can come here tonight <clears throat> and just uh, go through this trivia and talk about Christmas and uh, what it means to us as Christians and all the neat traditions that we have around it and everything else. But uh, God, we just um, thank you for what Christmas really does mean to us. As uh, I talked about last week, God, uh, we have the reason to celebrate, not just any reason, not we have the reason. With all the things that are going on around us, uh, how our uh, our Easter and our Christmas holidays have been upended, God, we still have a reason and the reason to celebrate, and that reason is Jesus Christ. So we thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for the love that you show us and that, um, God, that you accepted us as your children and that you saved us. So right now, it's my privilege to speak on behalf of everyone who may be watching, God, when I tell you that we love you. And we thank you for the gift of salvation that we have through Jesus Christ. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you all for joining. And I will see you at the Christmas Eve service or Sunday. And if I don't see it, we're going to try to have it Facebook Live because I know there's a lot of people who still, very, still feel very uncomfortable about getting out. And you guys, if you don't feel comfortable getting out, Follow your own conviction on that. Uh, stay home. Uh, don't go against your convictions. Uh, do, do whatever you feel comfortable doing. And, uh, and, uh, and just be safe. <laughs> so y'all take care. Yes, Tasha, Merry Christmas to you as well. And Merry Christmas to all of you. And I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.